Welcome back today, Iowa Football Media Day, wrapping up this week for both Iowa State and Iowa. And today's big talker, the wide receiver group for these Hawkeyes as they try to take a step forward after the departure of some key players a year ago. You have two guys like Amir and Brandon go to the NFL. Um, you know, those are two big holes. And, you know, luck, whatever it is, but uh, two of the guys that, that came in January, uh, you know, the younger guys, both Keegan and Arlen, have really done a nice job. I think I could also uh, produce more, you know, on uh, jet sweeps and arounds, but um, we also have a lot more other uh, players that can definitely, you know, do the same thing I've been doing. You know, I mean, we have T. Good, Arlen, Keegan, Charlie Jones, Nico Regani. Um, so we have a lot of, a lot of playmakers on the field. Keep the same mentality as high school. I mean, I can do anything to get on the field and help the team, and that's just the like the same mindset I've, I've kept. What I can't control is, you know, how what I give to this team, and I do know that no matter what my role is, that I will give it everything I have. So, you know, I don't, too early to tell my role, but, you know, I just, I just know I'll give it everything I got. For our offense and also for those younger guys, uh, you know, it's not every day you get the chance to uh, come in and, and, and compete right away. So uh, it's been fun. Uh, it's a lot of work, but it's definitely been fun. And I'm excited to see what these guys can do this fall. The freshman impact will be big for that offense. Meanwhile, on defense, the DBs are going to be the anchor of this year's team. We definitely have a lot of experience in the back end. I think we understand that what we have to do on the back end. We have to make sure we lock down our receivers, make sure we pay attention to our keys, and make sure we do what Coach Parker expects us to do. And if we do that, you know, we'll we'll help out the D-line and the linebackers as much as we can. Somebody's a little unsure of what they may, doing, may be doing because of uh, a lack of experience. Uh, having a group of experienced guys around them who can kind of pull them along and kind of get them in the right spots is really beneficial. So that's something that we've been seeing uh, a lot out here, and they're doing a great job. And of course, you cannot go without talking to special teams with these Iowa Hawkeyes. Torrey Taylor showing off a great leg last year as a punter. This year, looking to take another step forward. And dare I say, should we start a Heisman campaign for the Australian? Probably means you're, you've uh, you've really been you know playing conservatively. If that happens, uh, Reggie Roby would have been a candidate. You know, in 1981. No, I I, I do say some of that stuff, but uh, yeah, that, that, that's not going to happen. I don't think. I've said this on. To numerous people before that what the wild card weekend uh, last year uh, watching the NFL games and watching you know six NFL punters uh, punt the ball and you get around midfield like Torres Taylor's as good as those guys and you know he can do stuff with the football particularly in that plus 50 range that that uh, that is really really helpful for us and our team and our, and our defense as far as establishing field position and the fact that Torrey never played a football game American football game till we were in West Lafayette makes the story that much better in my mind and probably, probably the biggest surprise for me was his ability to, to plus 50 punting. That um, Australian punt I've been, I've been doing for 15, 20 years, like that's literally the kick we do um, to pass the ball to one another. So um, Coach Woods kind of just gives me the call and um, I just try and put it um, on a five cent piece as, as much as close as I can. So yeah, I mean the transition in terms of um, the Australian style punt um, really hasn't been any different. But like I said before, it's just is um, big guys running at me, um, trying to stop me from doing it. Iowa kicks off the season in a top 20 matchup against Indiana here in Iowa City on September 4th. That'll do it for sports. We'll be right back.